Ahoy! I have another one! Hey! <laughs> They're rolling out. Um, uh, I had... Where will I start now? Okay. I had this I had this hex uh, I had this hexa build that was the size of uh, 310 it was only for three cell and uh, five inch prop max but then as I was flying it was slightly slightly short on power it would be good for racing but and it was the most stable one of my one of my best copters ever and it had no no one shot no better flight or any of this there was a 2014 that's two years ago and it was rock solid as it was so i was slightly short on power so i rebuilt it to four cell and to smaller and to smaller uh, four inch props these are the four inch bull nose props uh, the motors are sunny sky 2500 kv the time the time that i got them they were only for the mini quads they were only coming out and these were experimental and there's nowhere there's nowhere to be found them uh, 2500 kv there's only 2300 kvs so as you can see it's the my motors are in case for protection these are the carbon tubes so i had to make myself a tool special tool to clamp to screw the screw the screw the prop on there you go Basically this one the size is ah, hold on. I'll take out the battery later. Let's check out. Let's check out the weight. The other one was around 700 grams and as I said it was slightly slightly short on power. Now I did the bench testing for the motors and the props. 542 grams all a flying weight with a 1.55 battery 4 cell uh, 65C. The batteries I'm soldering from the 6 cell I'm soldering my 4 cell packs because uh, these are the I believe these are the best combination between weight, C and capacity for mini quads. They use the 6L they use for the 450 size helis. So let's get that one out. I even adjust my Velcro straps because I don't like the big bulky ones. With these ones. I would be happy if there would be no battery because that battery is sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, okay, the size of this one is the the furthest point is two, three, five millimeters, and and for that size is two hundred and twenty millimeters. So I had to I had to spread out the front one a bit so. So my camera doesn't, the props doesn't get that much in the view. But I believe I will still see a tiny bit of props in there. In the screen. Which I don't mind. No big deal. Inside I have a Hawkeye 200 milliwatt uh, VTX 5.8G. Uh, TBS Crossfire RX. I'll get to that later. The, my wiring is all in, inside, inside hiding up. Uh, Mini PZ 5V cam. Uh, NASA 32 clone from 2014 before everybody started cloning. So this is the old gear. This is the very old gear. Now the uh, cro uh, TBS Crossfire RX. Uh, I threw out the existing antenna for the from the micro RX, and basically quarter wave is 82.2 millimeters for it's eight six eight i think megahertz for europe so i took i took a frisky antenna got my uh, connector in i took a frisky antenna and i chopped in there to 41 millimeters left uh, without the coax cable that gives me one eight of the wave of uh one eight wave antenna and i tested and i tested it on 25 milliwatts with dynamic power the dynamic power off I could go half a kilometer with the 188 uh, 8 wave and without any fail save without any glitches and I did the ground testing and it was all and it was all good brilliant I love the system you can use you can use whatever whatever video whatever video you want have a look at the link below there's a, a link to FPV lab the mini hex tread what's it looks uh, what it looks what it looks on the inside so in case I forgot to say and all the pictures you will find it there right so what's left to do now is go have a look it should go and up 
what what roughly power do I have here and what else should I expect from this mini hex of course I forgot to mention something ESC's are 12 amp inside the tubes in there the ghost uh, immersion RC vortex v1 and uh, another thing I should have left here a bit more because it looks like the wire is very close very close to each other and another thing as you can see my center gravity is a little bit forward that was my aim because uh, when I fly I feel easier to control my altitude when I center gravity a bit forward you kind of less working with the less working with the pitch and another thing that I forgot as you can see my uh, horizontal center gravity is right at the prop level that's what that's what makes the that's what make off this fly very good um, lovely weather outside drizzling now everything is all over the place here the set and PIDs trolls and everything it was left from the previous hex so I don't know what to expect it now Level on. I need your throw a bit. Okay, either level, either level too high or P's are too high, which it doesn't matter, we'll get it tuned. Now, knock off the level. Always first time I'm lifting the pop the, with the level on. Just don't trust myself that much. I'm losing flying loss skills. Okay. We need a bit of a throw or less expo on pitch, on roll, and on yaw. Uh, it doesn't have that super punch. What I liked about this hex is that it was super smooth. It was going like on rails without any one shot or anything. That'll do. Next time.